You will need two things for this project. An image you want to distress and a textured image to do the distressing. Now you can download a textured image if you want or you can create one here in GIMP. It only takes a few seconds and I'm going to show you how to do that as well. Let's get started. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is open a new canvas. We're going to select the background color as white. Select OK. Zoom out just a little bit here. Come down. Select your pencil tool. Make sure that you have black selected as the color that you're going to be using in order for this effect to work. Uh, our distressed um, textured image needs to be black and white. So if you now look over here to the right hand side, you'll notice we have underneath this first tab, there's this all these uh, choices of textures that can be applied to the image here. So we're just going to grab a couple of them and place them randomly in here. Just take the sponge effect, stick it in the corner. We'll grab some splatters, turn it up, splash it across a little bit. Grab some smaller splatters, fill in this center, and there you go. So next, we're going to take this image. We're going to select the whole thing. We're going to right click, copy, right click, edit, and cut this image. Now we can get rid of this layer here because we no longer need it. Now we're just going to paste this other one in, right click, edit, paste. And now it's, we're just going to add it to a new layer. Now, let's add a new layer. We'll hit X, select OK. I'm going to take this layer and drag it down to the bottom. And we're going to turn the visibility of the other two layers off. Then we're going to select our fill tool. Make sure that you have a gray color selected. And then fill in this, this new layer that we just created. All right, select, go ahead and turn the visibility for the other ones back on, and then select the distress layer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn its opacity down a little bit. So like down to 33 just for now, but you see how we can see the image behind it? So we can see kind of what it's doing to that image back there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this and I'm going to enlarge it a lot so that I've got room to play with it. I can rotate it, I can move it, I can do whatever I want with it now. See, this can be moved, we can add the distressed effect however we want. Now having looked at it, I kind of like when we zoom out how we've got this look here. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this because I think it's going to look cool like this. So we're going to turn it like this. And then I'm going to go ahead and move it right here. All right, so he's looking like that. Now we're going to go ahead and just move the opacity all the way back to 100. I'm going to grab the fuzzy select tool, just click once in there, come up to select, hit invert, then we're going to click on the layer with the character on it, we'll just uh, turn the visibility off for that top layer that's black and white so that you just have this layer here. Right click on it, make sure that it has an alpha channel, this one does, and then you're just going to hit delete. Let's come up here to select none, and as you can see, it's caused some distress to this image. Now we're going to take it a little step further, and what we're going to do is we're going to go to Filters, Light and Shadow, and we're just going to add a slight drop shadow in here. We're going to turn the opacity of the color down so it's not too strong but so that there's still a bit of a shadow that can be seen there. We're going to select OK. And there you have it. 
a nice distressed image. I hope you found this video helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you learned something. And you can catch me streaming on Twitch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Feel free to hop in chat, ask me some questions, who knows, we might even play some games together. I'll see you next time.